Dog Games! <laughs> Dog Games! And when you're down here with me, you float dog! Toy Games here. You can call me Angelo, or AC, or AG, or that bald guy with the weird beard with the chest hair. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to talk about NECA, the little toy company that could from Hillside, New Jersey. You know, every so often a toy company will hit its stride. Uh, McFarlane Toys in the late 90s, you know, Hasbro was hitting its stride a little bit. You had the Black Series line also from Hasbro that hit its stride. Right now, I feel though, NECA in the past three years have really gone above and beyond. Um, first thing is they know their audience. They know who likes their toys. So when you ca when you have an audience and you cater to them in the right way, you get good products and you get passionate products, and it really shows in their figures. Um, I have these guys in front of me. I'm going to talk about before I get to the main figure. You know, the past couple of years they've cranked out pieces like the '89 Batman with Michael Keaton, uh, the Christopher Reeve Superman toys that as kids we always wanted but have never seen. And now here they are. And if I set these beautiful pieces to the side, we have another one from 1990, the It uh, Tim Curry figure. Here I am, Wheezy. When I was growing up, I was about 14 years old. And I, I, I swear to you, every time I slept at a friend's house or even my parents, every single friend of mine's parent um, had this huge It book. And on the cover, it didn't really show much. I think on the cover was just either the balloon or the the great, I forget the cover looked like, we'll have a shot of it there, but it just said it and, and the book was huge. The book was probably as big as this um, box right here and it wasn't until the ABC um, movie came out, the little mini series, I think it came on two Sundays in a row or it came out on a Sunday and a Monday that's when I was like, oh my God, here's the movie. Here's the book that all these parents um, are reading about. And it blew my mind that this is what it was. It was this creepy clown who, who terrorized these kids. Now, truth be told, I wasn't a huge fan of that film. It was a little too campy and it was made for TV. But I did love the way Tim Curry looked, the way Pennywise looked. He just captured the screen. You know, there's something about those 89, 90 films like... The Ninja Turtles and even Dick Tracy, of course, Batman, and then it. They came at a time when there was nothing like that. Sure, we had seen things like the Terminator, and Jason, and the Predator, but the more campy, comic booky stuff, it, it was new, it was exciting, it was fresh. So I think that just holds a place in, uh, in our adult minds. Like we remember it, and it's not only nostalgia, but they are, they're great, iconic characters. Um, and when you look at this figure, you know, you take a figure like, I'm going to bring Batman, and I'll even bring the new uh, 2017 Pennywise, which was, I like the film a, a little better than the 90 It, but I do prefer, for a horror-themed horror figure, I mean, this guy's great, but for a fun figure I've never seen before, I really prefer the 90 Pennywise. Uh, you look at Batman, you look at 2017 Pennywise, the thing that's going to jump at you with these three figures, besides the quality of them all, the thing that separates the middle Pennywise is the colors. You don't really see a lot of purples and yellows in an action figure. I mean, even something that's colorful like Reeve Superman, when you have just the regular blue and red, there is some yellow in there, but all these colors combined just capture the eye, capture the, the imagination, you, you just can't stop looking at it. Um, I think that's a part of the appeal. Besides being a perfect sculpt, besides having great accessories, I understand these balloons. Uh, I saw a tweet, if I can, I'll flash it here, but I think Randy Falk of NECA mentioned something about the balloons cost the, uh, the price of um, making these figures, so they were losing money on these figures somehow. I don't, I, I don't really know the the details on that but I'm glad they did because the balloons do help the figure it is a little tough 
to get them to stay like that. Like I don't want to really shake the table too much because they they do fall out. I've had this guy take a few shelf dives because of it. But this is the pose I prefer. This is the pose I'm probably going to stick with for a while until I change it. Um, he does come with three other beautiful head sculpts. You have the demon hands that go with like when he's transforming into the demon. You have sort of surprise look, a little grumpy face. Of course, he comes with Georgie's boat, little noisemaker, and everything together um, make for one hell of a figure. So this figure is a definite game. Yes. Something you want to seek out. I got them at GameStop. Once again, this is NECA's ultimate line. They usually come in a box like this. I'm sure these bo this box has some type of name. I flip open like this, but they usually come with more accessories. More than This is just a standard Batman figure that just came with extra set of hands and a gun. The ultimate line. It's not that they pour, put more effort into it. You just get a few more heads, a few more hands, and this guy is beautiful. We're going to have some shots showing all the different colors, that the back pattern of his vest looks great. I'll capture that. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe, like, leave a comment, critique me, give me any pointers. Thank you.